Hey everyone, this is Justatech 2.0 and welcome back to the channel. So before we start, I would like to discuss about a tool that is the Tenoshe 4U key. This tool can solve the various kind of IO screen lock issues like screen time passcode or disable or unlock passcode screen or MDM lock screen issues. And if you want to know more about it, just check out the description link. So for example, I got this device on the MDM screen. So I will just connect it and click on start bypass. Now you can see it's done. So if you want more information about this tool, just head over to the website or check out the description link. And now let's continue today's video process. So hey everyone, this is Justatech 2.0 and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is all about iOS 15.7.8 devices and we will see that how we can bypass it on your Windows machine. So no need of Mac, it's a completely free method. Also if you want to check out the latest iOS 16 bypass, I've already made the video Video yesterday so you can watch it on my main channel but for this video I am more focusing on iOS 15.7.8 as many people are requesting me to make the same video for iOS 15 devices as they are facing some issues so let's see how it's work first of all you need to jailbreak with my custom ISO file that have been made for you guys and for all the download links you can head over to my blog you will get everything is there or check out the description link after the download you can extract it once you will extract it you will get this iso file and other important file that is the rufus we will make the usb bootable first with the help of this iso file you will also require the usb pin drive or you can take the sd card with the sd card reader after you plug your usb stick you will see in the list so that is my toshiba trans memory that is the 8 gb i'm taking but you can take 1 gb minimum next you can drag and drop the iso file on the rufus or click on the select option and then select the iso file manually once you do that you need to select the partition scheme according to your windows system there is two partition scheme one is the MBR master boot record and another one is the GPT so you can select accordingly I am selecting the MBR this file support both uh, old legacy BIOS and the new UEFI mode so you can select accordingly both will work after everything is set you can click on start and it will proceed for the USB bootable process so now just wait for it to get complete Alright now the booting process is done, next you need to restart your system. After the restart done, you need to go to your BIOS settings or you can go to your boot manager settings where you can select the USB so that we can boot it from. After that you will see this kind of screen. Now wait for 5 seconds and it will boot the checkrain and pellrain iOS 15.16 automatically in front of you. Now next connect your iDevice. If you get any warning like USB Muxy not found, just ignore it. It will not affect this bypass. So just click on that. After that you will see your device will go into the recovery mode directly once you have connected. Next you need to hit on enter on the terminal so that you can proceed for the DFU mode. Next put your device into DFU mode now. You can follow the instruction on the screen. Alright now the jailbreak has been started, do not disconnect your device. If you get any warning like libusb or other stuff, ignore it. Once your device will reboot to home screen that means the jailbreak is done. Or if you face any issues, just retry the process until you get succeed. Now once the jailbreak is done, you can just quit the terminal. On the terminal, you can type reboot and hit on enter. After that, your device will restart and then you can unplug your USB to boot to the home screen. So now the windows is loading. So just wait for it to get complete. Alright, now let's first confirm the jailbreak is done or not. So just open your three tools. You will see in the jailbreak status is yes or no. So now you can see it's here is saying yes that means the jailbreak is done now let's proceed for the bypass 
Now for the bypass we will use this tool same like for the iOS 16 you will get the links on my blog so download from there you can just extract it and after that you can run the exe file. Now first go to the tool directory then files and backup after that the first time you will see the folder will empty currently on my side as I already generated the activation record of some devices that by showing some files but for you for the first time the folder will be empty next go to the options and select the generate activation record. and then click on connect and then generate the records if you face any error while generating the records you can tick on the config second server button after that you can generate it and make sure your internet is fast while generating these files if your internet is slow then maybe some issue in generating files once you confirm your files is generated you can close that backup folder after that go back now we are ready for bypass and before that you can also register the ECID that's completely free on the tool it will show the ECID is not registered you can just tap on that and it will open a website and you can copy paste the ECID for registration and it's completely free Now after you registered your device go to the options again and this time you need to select the hello iOS 16 bypass. After that go to the options and check device it shows connected and then you can proceed. Click on the hello bypass option. Now you can see it start proceeding. Now wait for it to get complete. Stay on the activation lock screen with Wi-Fi connected. Now you can see the bypass is done. Also it shows that do not add the passcode touch ID or face ID otherwise the bypass will be threaded after the reboot it will lock so do not add those things. Now simply set up the device for iOS 15 the light will dim after the bypass automatically so you can change it and increase it after the bypass. So let me just set up the device first so you will get the data and privacy page and other things. So now you can see that we are on our home screen and everything looks good. We have successfully bypassed the iOS 15.7.8 with the Borek RAM disk. So everything will work. Some iServices will not work like FaceTime will not work and your SIM card will not work. But other services like iCloud Login, Siri, App Store and Unthreaded Bypass will work. So let's reboot the device and see. So now you can see uh, the device is on again and everything is good. This is the complete untethered bypass. You can also use the Pelrin jailbreak along with that. The Celio will work. So now I have tested all these things on my iOS 16 also. So the same way you can try it on the iOS 15. So the process is same and working. Still let me just show you the actual login is working and the rest of things you can try it. But as I mentioned some services will not work like SIM card and the FaceTime. As it's in free method still you are getting so many things so you can adjust that so that is all for this video i hope you like today's video if yes just hit the like button and if you guys new here subscribe to the channel for more cool updates i will see you in another one so till then goodbye take care and peace out